Hi, I'm Megan Dew. I'm a Collections and Reader Development Librarian at Yarra Libraries, and uh, I'm currently sending you a three-minute message from home. One of the things I've been doing while I've been at home, outside of work obviously, is keeping in touch with my book clubs. So all of the book clubs I'm in are running as per usual. They're just meeting on Zoom or Facebook video call or Google Hangouts or something like that in the meantime. So there's a few different books that we've discussed in my book clubs over the last month. We've discussed uh, books that we're going to read during the next year in my feminist book club. And so we mentioned uh, Witches, What Women Do Together. Uh, Sandra Jallen came to visit us at the library last year and I really enjoyed her speaking. So that was why I recommended that one for one of my book clubs. In another book club, we picked um, The Glad Shout uh, about a month ago. Uh, everyone really enjoyed this one, but what we mainly focused on after discussing this book was books that we could pick for the next book club. And that's just a little bit of advice if you're running a book club at the moment. It's a good time to check in and make sure everyone can still access their books from home, the ones that you were going to do for the next month. And just make sure you're picking things that everyone can still access because everyone's in different situations at the moment. And it's a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, for the Kill Your Darlings podcast, we discussed uh, Uncanny Valley by Anna Weiner. That was a really interesting experience, actually, because uh, it's about someone's experience in the tech industry in Silicon Valley. And uh, I, when I finished reading it, I wasn't left with a really positive impression of the tech industry. But right now, it's what's allowing us to all keep in touch. So feeling a bit different about it now. But if you're looking for a gripping memoir, that one was really great. It was an interesting discussion. And the one I'm most excited about is Lincoln in the Bardo, which was the Booker Prize winner in 2017. And that one I actually listened to as an audio book. I know I've got the physical book here, but on Borrowed Books you can actually find the audio book. And uh, each different point of view, and there's quite a lot in this one, is voiced by a different um, actor or actress. So that's really uh, fantastic to listen to. And it breaks it up in a way that sometimes if a book isn't hugely plot driven, it can be a bit hard on an audio book. So just something to keep in mind is that um, this one on Borrowed Books is really great. So, uh, I guess my advice from home or my message would be to try and keep doing your usual schedules. Uh, keep your usual book clubs going, join one of ours. Our short story club is now online and available in a few different ways. And if you'd like to send your own three-minute message from home, we'd really love to hear them. So, think of a quote or a passage from a favourite book that inspires you, uh, a new routine you've picked up, or something you'd like to share with your neighbours and your friends during this time.